Okay, good, set. All right. We often look to generations that came before us for hints and clues about what our future may bring, which is why today I am standing before all of you with an apology. On behalf of my generation, the millennial generation, for we have not done an accurate job of depicting what becoming an adult is like for the younger generation. And unlike any other generation before us, we have social media, a place where we can post all of our thoughts and feelings on any given subject at any given time. So naturally, as we've started to grow up and to become adults, we've shared on social media some of those moments that really made us feel like an adult. We even came up with a really innovative hashtag for it, hashtag adulting. Now, this is a recent Twitter search from last week when I typed in hashtag adulting. I'm not going to go through all of these, but I'm going to read a couple of my personal favorites. This Twitter user was so innovative, felt that she needed to share this life hack with everyone, that she heated up her rice with a blow dryer. Hashtag adulting. This Twitter user was really trying to share kind of his newly found adulthood, new you know, palette for consuming food. So he shared his dinner on social media. Tonight's dinner consisted of airheads and Red Bull. Hashtag adulting. <laughs> this third example here is about somebody who had to Google a tutorial on how to open a can. Hashtag adulting, hashtag where's my mom. <laughs> and finally, my personal favorite, this Twitter user tweeted this as one of his proudest moments in his entire adulting life was that he figured out that he could use a mop to clean his bathtub. Now, while I recognize that this can be, that this is an exercise of my generation being sarcastic, I, the definition of sarcasm is the use of irony to mock or convey contempt for something, which led me to the greater question that I wanted to answer today. Why do we feel as a generation that we need to mock what it is like to become an adult? Why do we feel the need to hide behind a hashtag? Now, I am someone who considers, excuse me. So to, in today's theme, the future of truth. And in that spirit, I decided to go back in time with you all to share some of my real truths about what I felt adulting was like. Because often, adulting is more than learning how to open a can or do your own laundry. And it's even more than figuring out that next job or how to budget. But the problem is, people don't like to talk about what it's really like. Because it's hard. And that's the answer that I came to. Becoming an adult is hard. And there's challenges that you face along the way. And they often aren't fun. And they're not funny at the time. And they certainly aren't going to get you past that 100 mark like on Instagram but they're important to share. So I'm gonna go back in time with you guys now and retroactively post on my social media some of the moments throughout my adulting life. Let's start in 2007 with a Facebook post that I could have shared. I'm feeling very defeated. Today, the starting spot I was working so hard for on Yale's lacrosse team was given to someone else. Hashtag adulting. Or an Instagram post that I could have posted in 2013. I live in a city of 8 million people, yet I feel completely alone. Work has taken over my life, and I haven't seen friends or family in weeks. Hashtag adulting. And finally, a tweet from this week that I could have posted. 
haven't talked to my BFF from college recently. Life happened, and we grew apart for a little. And now, I don't know how to start a conversation. But the problem with these tweets and Instagram posts is that they're moments. And they also don't tell the whole story about adulting. While my Facebook post is to show you that you will face rejection from a college, from a future employer, from someone you love, what this doesn't show you is that rejection will drive you and can be the fuel for success. When life shuts a door, it opens a window. Rejection will force you to that window. My Instagram post, feeling very lonely, obviously looking very upset, right? This is to show you that you will find yourself alone for moments, minutes, hours, but what this doesn't show you is in those moments alone, you will actually find yourself. And finally, my tweet from this week shows you that your friendships will change, but what it doesn't show you is that the more things change, the more they actually stay the same, and you will find your people. This is a true hashtag Westminstergram of my best friend Jordan Baxter and I in seventh grade at a dance. And this is us now attending the wedding of a Westminster alumni. Now, I don't have the answers on how to find these things. But what I do have are some real actionable pieces of advice that you can do to help you find them. First, when you sh introduce yourself, shake someone's hand firmly, look them in the eye, and state their, your name clearly, for this will give you confidence in who you are. Second, take your earbuds out and your headphones off. As technology continues to grow, human connection is more important than it's ever been before. This will give you presence. And finally, something I struggle with every day, learn to say no. People will ask a lot of things from you in your life, but they ultimately come down to three main things. Your money, your time, or your knowledge. Learn to say no, because this will give you sanity. Adulting is just growing up. You do it every single day. You will continue to do it for the rest of your life. So when you wake up, treat every day as an opportunity because you have one more day to figure out what this whole adulting thing is all about. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>